Hey, hi. So we're done with the first part of the project for implementing a Kafka consumer and producer using Spring integration and Avro messages. So instead of doing a write-up, I decided to do a screencast that would help you understand it in a better way. So let's go ahead and do the first step to import the project in Eclipse. So since this is a Maven project, we'll import it to Eclipse using existing Maven project. So when I'll deliver you the source code or when you download the source code, you'll get two diff one directory and one uh, POM file. So you open this. Okay, we can just ignore this for now. Now once the import is complete, you might see some compilation errors in one or two of the classes. So you might see a compilation error for this event class. Uh, also you might see compilation error somewhere here. Now you might see compilation error in the test classes. Yeah, for the event class. Now this is because we haven't yet generated the event source code. Now where is this is because we are using Avro. So we have a Avro schema, event dot uh, Avro schema, which is a simple Avro schema uh, file which contains three fields, uh, name, application ID and timestamps. So these are dummy fields I've just created to ex uh, just for a sample uh, payload. Now let's go ahead and run this using the Maven plugin. So I have added one Maven plugin. So this is the Evro Maven plugin, which basically generates uh, files and generates the source files from the Evro event schema now if I run this so I'm running this basically if you see the run configuration for this So when you first time do a run as maven build one so you get this page with an empty goal so just give goal as generate sources and then you can run it so i've already run i'll not run anymore now if i refresh my target directory i would get the generated resources directory now what i can do is i can add this avro generated directory to my build path use a source folder so once this is added so I have com and Europe blue event now all my compilation errors are resolved okay so let me explain the code a little bit so this is this is a spring boot application so I have the normal spring boot application starter class so we, do, we won't be starting this application using this class because we don't need it right now because we would be testing with it uh, with the test classes now the next thing is I have the consumer configuration over here all the consumer configuration of uh, the channel adapter the consumer listener uh, the consumer factory and the consumer configs and the producer configuration over here and the producer channel configuration class now why these are channel classes because these are basically uh, configuring not only Kafka but uh, Kafka consumer or Kafka producer but Kafka consumer and producer through spring integration 
now for this particular event object uh, which we have created in the generated resources we also have some event uh, serializer and deserializer class now so I have written those serializer and deserializer class over here and next thing which I wanted to show is the application dot properties now the application dot properties has these particular fields so uh, Kafka spring Kafka bootstrap servers uh, spring Kafka topic and spring Kafka group ID now how do we test it so for that I have written a, a test class where I am basically producing one message to Kafka and at the same time consuming it on the same uh, test class so if everything goes okay the JUnit test should pass. I can actually uncomment this and now I'll run the test case to see if everything is okay. And here I have just given it a delay of one second so that the message is uh, produced properly before it's being consumed. So I can just right click on the class and go and run as JUnit. So it's waiting for the message to get produced where it should have been produced by now. Okay, let's stop this for now and try to run it again. Yes. So now it has my messages. It has come up so that's the reason the test case has passed so let's run it one more time yeah the test case has passed if I can see the JUnit test case has passed so that's all for now do let me know if you have any queries or doubts on this and the next part we would be adding the Kerberos uh, SASL authentication to this particular uh, project.